I promised if we hit 2,500 likes on our last sniper video that we'd go ahead and make another one where we run around with the locust, the spear, and use the amped perk so we have the fast melee swap. So if any of you guys didn't see our last video, I recently changed my HUD around to allow me to now have the ability to do the melee sniper swap, which is a huge mechanic inside of Call of Duty Mobile that gives you a massive corner peak advantage. Now, while I was doing this strategy in the last video, I was using a slower sniper and I didn't actually throw on amped, so I wasn't swapping weapons as quickly as I possibly could to really give myself a massive advantage when it comes to using this mechanic. So I figured once I got a little bit of practice in, I'd go ahead and throw on that amped perk and use the locust just because it's one of the most reliable fast scoping snipers inside the game and i have got to say dude we went on some nasty streaks here in today's video and i really hope you guys do enjoy this because it was a great time to actually do this listen i might not go full tiktok clip farmer on you guys but i, I gotta say i might be pulling this out a little bit more often because it was so satisfying to snipe and play like this it's so different from my typical playing style where it's more tactical positional based this is just kind of full reaction speed and aim dependent which again aren't my strong suits but i i put up a pretty good fight here today also before we hop into the gameplay i just wanted to quickly announce to you guys that on september 21st 3 p.m pt i'm going to be participating in the play galaxy cup live from twitchcon we're going to be streaming it here on this channel so once again stay on the lookout for that on september 21st 3 p.m pt with all that being said thank you guys all so much for watching the video let's get into it oh baby we got diesel if y'all watched our last sniper video you would know we had a fun time on this map last time so obviously i just want to address this isn't my regular play style this is something that's a bit different for me so i don't know how we're gonna really perform today honestly i think instead of rocking agile it probably would have been beneficial for me to throw on something like persistence that way i don't even feel like compelled to play a bit slower than normal we'll see what we can do here man game number one starting off with a hit marker on our first shot that's always a good sign i definitely feel like i'm playing a bit more passive already we're gonna try to lock it in and just play play a little more more aggression than you would typically see out of me here. Enemies are all flipped on the spawn points right now. We do have one over here by the van. Spotted. I might just keep the melee out because I was hearing multiple footsteps nearby. We do have ourselves a UAV. There's a player behind me. Oh, and in front of me too. Yeah, I was thinking about maybe just diving on the objective there. See if we can slide out. Oh, our four piece just got robbed. Not by the hit marker and then stunned as soon as that player was peeking. I got multiple next to me. Able to hit that shot. So it looks like it's just going to be a whole bunch of UAV streaks for your boy here today. Unless maybe somehow we go crazy and take over the lobby. Do have an opponent in front of me and a shock RC. We'll just go ahead and pop out of that one right away. Going for the BP pre-fire to end. One more. Saw their head. Yep. Still another one on the objective. Oh my god. Yo, so despite us kind of going crazy here with the snipes right now, our team is definitely struggling. Oh, if I hit that first swing, that would have been big. Basically, this playing style really is for like those crazy aggressive players that have good reaction speeds, great aim, which y'all might like to glaze me. That That's just not me. My playing style is less like flick action and way more like methodical slower. Do you have an annihilator in hand? I just saw a player over there. There should be one more by the boxes, potentially. Footsteps nearby. Trip might actually take them one out. Oh, come on. Slide out. Let's see if they run into the trip mine. They do. That's big, dude. That would not have happened if it wasn't for the melee. Having that mobility to get out of that situation. Getting a hit marker here. Come on. Waiting for the reach out. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, brother. Our teammates are actually kind of useless. Again, I'm going just like wild on getting kills. I don't think any of these have been like necessarily big meaningful kills when it comes to the objective this first game just like our last time we sniped is more just me kind of getting used to this play style getting warmed up with the sniper in hand and of course getting used to the locust this is a sniper that you definitely have to aim a lot higher up for especially if you're not rocking the stopping power mag which i'm not doing got two on the objective there goes one. Oh, oh i'm getting hit flinch so we really need to either step up individually here or have our team kind of lock it in i got a player near bot see if we can hit with the melee Actually, got to swap the big stuff team. All enemies should be in front of us here. I'm going to pop the Annihilator, which is definitely a risky play. I don't know if there's a second or not. Did I... Wait, did I just see a bad guy? I did. Okay. I thought I was tripping for a second. Go for the wall bang. Able to hit that and connect on that shot. The lot there would have been big. Maybe just hitting my shot would have been good. I'm really just changing my play style fully for this gameplay here today. Like, I never snipe. 
Never melee swap. Never use amped. And most importantly, I never use an annihilator. I'm gonna play this heady, kind of defend the objective a little bit. This is definitely getting us back into the game. Oh, that hit marker sucks. I know I got this player still here on the objective with me. The slide pass is wild. No, I thought I could melee spam. I means do have one on the objective with a reactor core. Able to get a hit marker on them. I'm just gonna dive in with the melee. Yeah, I was about to say they have nowhere else they could be besides in that corner. Wait for him to peek. There's one. Let me just have another reactor core, dude. That's the third or second one they've used. Oh, there's, there's two on the objective. Come on. Oh, dude, the spear is so stupid. Saw another one back there. I was about to say they have to peek the doorway. They have like no other choice. The wall bang, nothing there. We got a UAV. We can go ahead and put up. I mean, do have the next spawn points. I was hoping that they'd flip. Looks like they do. I got a second player back there. Just go for the melee. Yeah, that's actually crazy. I'm actually close to being out of ammo here. Just gonna keep the melee in hand. Oh, that's that's tragic. No, it's not. For him, it's tragic. I can't believe I got that kill. We do have an advanced UAV. I have an annihilator in hand. Multiple enemies are still in front of us. Able to secure that kill. I've popped the Annie here. Like, we, we just have to. And hopefully I can lock this down. There's one. A player in the middle of the map. Dead. Two pushing the objective. I say we just hard shall it. Oh, I'm getting hit by something. What is that? Reactor core? Puri. It's going to be a tight game. We do have the rotations for the next objective. I can't believe I hit that. I saw that player. That's not the guy that I was looking for. Let's see if he's going to expect me to be relocated yet. Probably not. We do have some fresh spawns, though. Dude, imagine made that dude look silly though hate that we hit marker there we have a uav is this next objective in the middle okay it is but we gotta get him off the objective right now oh there's like there's three on this objective no yeah that that might be game here they can win off of this I was able to get one, but they have three on the objective. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. That was a good first game though. Like the fact that we brought it to just a 20 point deficit is kind of crazy. Considering how bad of a start our team had, like I, I'll take that. Question is like, how many kills did I drop? We kind of went crazy there, 47. I'm not gonna lie. I'm actually kind of excited here for Summit. Like it's gonna be the ultimate challenge for me to see if I can adapt my play style to this type of loadout and, and we'll see what we can do. I'm gonna just be aggressive here off the rip and try to like really wide swing this. Seeing nobody is actually concerning to me. We have one over there at the window. Up on the objective, able to hit marker one. The wall? No. All right, there's still one on the objective though in the corner. Can be taking them out. That's good. Uh, I feel like spawns are probably gonna flip and they're gonna be back greenside already. I definitely feel like it's coming. That's oh my god! The second I stopped peeking it, they started spawning up over there. I saw there was two. We were able to pick up one. Play a trip mine down. We're gonna hold down this position here, put up the UAV. Get him off the objective. We're gonna hold this down. I have three on me. <laughs> Honestly, not the start that I was looking to have just because we have been pretty low in counter here against the opponents, but we're hitting every shot that we take. Oh, they got gas below us. Doesn't look like there's anybody green side. There's nobody top control either. Where are these guys? Apparently they're just sitting on the objective somewhere. I really have not missed a bullet though. I think there's one more back here. Sounds like they might be above me. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, let's put up the UAV. They just have to be spawning green, which means they're going to be on this staircase. We got multiple in front of us. I'm just going to try to use the spear. Wait for it. It's one. I really need to get that kill. We got to just push for the spawn point and then also watch right here. The big spot to be in the back. Got multiple enemy UAVs here. Oh, I thought that shocker was gonna go for me. Good thing that guy has gloves out. I'm thinking after this game, I might have to do what we did in our first sniper video and take off hardpoint just because this is one of those few game modes where I really can't help the team all too much. We're gonna do our best to really clutch up here on this next objective though. Team is getting taken down. Dude, playing the objective with a sniper on this objective is actually wild multiple on this oh my god Yo, the spear is so stupid the fact that i'm alive right now 
Okay, we do have a Goliath, so we can help out on the objective a little bit. This is just not the situation for us to call it in. I'm gonna go ahead and pop our Annihilator. Enemies have a Lightning Strike. Hopefully it doesn't get me. That'd be terrible timing for us. I gotta push now. Did we just call at them? No, we didn't. There we go. We took them out, though. Oh, yeah, we're putting in work. We got the advanced UAV. Multiple enemies in front of us. That was a terrible timing for that to run out. Still putting in work, though. This game is just about a tied game here. Just staring at the radar. Does he peek? It slowly peeks, but he peeks. Okay, we gotta get control of up top. It's crucial right now. Ow. This guy's not climbing up. There's one more green side, too. He's coming around this way. Is there another one? Hard to tell. We have a UAV. We'll go ahead and put that into this guy. Nice. Gotta keep him off the objective right now. There, there's another one. We have another advance? Yeah, sure. Pop it. What? Uh, I want to lay down this Goliath pretty bad. Can't lie right now. Dude, I don't... Enemies are just on the objective, but where? Top, down low. Like, they're all diving on the objective right now, man. Okay, well, that, that was a nasty streak all for nothing. Now enemies have the Goliath. That's an RIP and the game is over. Hey, y'all gotta give me props though. Like we took control of the lobby for a bit. It's just, it's hard to do something on hard point with a sniper when your team is just not capable of holding down lanes or getting kills. And I'm not trying to like knock my teammates. It's just the role that I'm playing is not a role that can hard carry a team. And we finally have a domination, which I'm excited for. I'm feeling my shot. Like I'm getting better with this play style. They're, they're nading the car. No, our teammate is. I saw this player up top though. Question is where is he going right now? There's one on my teammate. It will take him out. Oh, the guy up top dropped down low. Let's see if I can get to the ring safely. We can angle on that player on B. So one here on the vehicle. I want to push him. That works too though. Yeah, the shot's starting to get there, dude. We're feeling pretty good. Oh, that's the second guy. Thankfully, our teammate made that guy weak. That 100% would have been a hit marker. That car is going to blow up, so we got to fall back a little bit here. A lot of players in the middle of the map, too. One apparently in red behind me. Do they go to the window? Yeah, they do. I'm just watching that radar. Still just playing ringside. Really just looking at the UAV right now. Nothing too special happening. Hopefully, there's not a player up top. There is. Not anymore, though. I think it was just one, too. All right, we're going to go deeper back here just so we can watch poolside steps. Actually, let's just push aggressive here on this. Play up with our teammate. Oh, no, 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 dude. That player close just chalked us there. We're getting kind of close there to an advanced UAV as well. Again, I'm not playing for a nuke, though. It's another one of those sessions today where it's just all strictly about improving a skill that I just have not developed. I bet this guy's staring, looking for me. Yep, hold up. Relocate one more time. And he's off the objective, just like that. I do have this Goliath in our back pocket if we need to use it. Another one on the, the shield there. I'm actually one bullet right now. Oh, this, this shock RC might get me. No, we're able to break out of that. Do they have control of this? They did. But we finally broke it. Go ahead and take our time here with the reload. And just defending B throughout this entire match, we're able to win the first round 75 to 40. Now, obviously, domination's a bit slower, so we're not going as crazy as we did in the last game. As soon as we can drop the Goliath, we'll go ahead and throw it in our spawn point as well. There goes that, which was a purifier. There's still the War Machine player? I don't know exactly where they're at. We're going to go ahead and back down a little bit, and we're going to drop a Goliath here in the spawn for the team. I got to pick up the Goliath right now. Enemies are really starting to push our team back. Yep. If I can just break the spawn trap with the glide, that's a huge use. We're, we're getting one win in this video. Like, what? Now, you might think I should probably push a B here, but... Oh, God. Yeah, that flinch is crazy. The, the real plan is for me to get into red if I can without dying right now. And we're just going to lock this and not allow the enemies to rotate out of their spawn point. Is that a stun? It is. Player ramp side. One up top. Trying to run away. Dang, bro. Luckily, we were able to distract long enough, though, for that B flag cap to go down. 
Now all we have to do is defend, and I do have an Annihilator in the back pocket if I need to use it. Alright, we're able to get a little bit of value out of that. And come up. There's another one. There's another two? Ah. Dude, I love being a melee spammer. Feels good to be on the other end of this for once. I hear multiple enemies still. I'm just gonna play this corner quietly. See if we can get them to run by us. Again, this isn't a flashy match. This is just very objective orientated. Oh, hey, we played it patient. We were able to pull up the three piece. That was a huge stop on the enemies trying to push B for their last time. That should secure the game. We got multiple enemies in front of us. I see that laser sight. All right, I'll take that, man. We're able to pick up a win. Hey, let me run it back one more game, and this time we're actually going to swap out the Locust for what I think is the best sniper in the game, the Tundra. All right, we're back here on Raid once again with the Domination match. This time, of course, with the Tundra in hand, which is going to be the big change. I haven't used this gun in a very long time, like honestly, since it got its first nerf. So it should be pretty interesting. We're immediately going to be challenging mid off the start, though. Like, you already know what we have to do here. We got the melee spear. Wow, nothing. Nobody challenged that is actually wild. We actually have someone at rank. I see one teammate's taking them down. <laughs> I heard him behind me. What is happening right now? There's another one. Oh, another two. Ow. So one of the big downsides I'm already noticing of using the Tundra in comparison to the Locust is just the sprint to fire speed is significantly slower. There's at least two players in front of me right here. Ow. Got ourselves a UAV. That means they're all gonna be spawning up over here. I see you. Oh, uh, what's happening? Are they they're not peeking it? Ow. Yeah. They had the god timing on that peak there. Unfortunate, but we're at least able to get back here for a C defend. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do anything about B now, especially with that shield there. I'm trying to just blow up the car at least. They have a UAV up as well. They should all just be running straight back over here. There's one. I'm able to take down the second, and we're just right back into control here. I gotta just run back. Is that clat? Oh my god, that's the only way we live in that situation. Is if we hit that clat. That's actually wild. I do have a sentry gun. We'll go ahead and just drop it down there facing B. Pop this UAV and go back over here for spawn control. I have the Annihilator in hand as well. One's coming to the jungle side, able to take them down. Not much to really say here. We're just going to try to lock down this position here. Avoid getting overwhelmed by multiple opponents again by just stopping back a little bit. We have the advanced UAV. You know what? I'm going to pop it. What do we got for opponents? One's going jungle. At least one. Possibly two here. Yeah, actually, there's a, there's multiple enemies right here. I'm just playing cleanup right now, dude. Our teammates are distracting everybody in front of us. I'm just getting those free picks. Well, we weren't able to get full value out of the advanced UAV, but it kept me alive as long as I was sitting there in their spawn. So I'll, I'll take that as far as value goes. There we go. Look at us, another sentry gun. Kind of scared about what lies in front of us here, but we're going to continue with the aggression. Yeah, enemies are just focusing on B. That's where the entire fight's going down at. Drop a sentry gun here in the middle of the map and back down a little bit. See if we can get a spawn flip going. Our team is capping C right now. Which means enemies are over at A. Couple might be spawning poolside, so I'm in a pretty decent position here. Sentry's getting a lot of hit markers right now. We're going to continue to just back up and reposition over near red. Oh, wow. That guy ran right by my sentry. Multiple enemies pushing B right now. It'll take down one. Get them both for the advanced UAV. Just gonna continue to relocate around. Reading the radar right now. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Dude, I was scoped in right at this player. Nice teammate. There's one over. Is he laundry right now? Alright, we gotta put up this UAV and continue to push forward. 
we'll go ahead and take control of laundry up top. No way, brother. We were so close to a nuke there. I had no business re-peeking that. I didn't know there was two. I knew there was at least one. But I just did not think I was going to get pre-fire two tapped in the head. That BP-50 time to kill is nuts, dude. I probably should have popped the Annie and just got out of that. Because I was definitely already weak a little bit. Hmm. They're not on B anymore, right? Wait, there's a guy up top. Aha. Wait, enemies fully turned that around. Got us triple capped here. I don't know if this guy's gonna double back. He's coming around. One more. Oh my god. I was about to say they're spawning up over here right now. Okay, we're able to pick up A finally. Our team's capping B. This is good. I'm not gonna lie, I was getting a little worried there for a second. Dude, I can't believe we didn't get that nuke, man. I should have just backed up with the melee, walked out of that situation. I, I actually egoed it heavy. Lost Bravo. Ready for deployment. I don't know if there's another one over there. <laughs> Melees are stupid. <laughs> All right, we got this down. Please, 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 please. Is he friendly? Oh, he was friendly. They, they're not. Bro, I don't know what just happened there, but we won the game. That's all I care about. <laughs> That's not true. I'm kind of mad I didn't get a nuke. Hey, that's what it's like, though, when I snipe aggressively, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Just because I'm still working on that melee swap skill, like, you guys know I just swapped my HUD and able to do that. So I'll take that for now. Maybe in a month or two, we'll come back, do another gameplay where I, I try to go for some nukes and, like, some crazy clips at the same time. But for now, I hope you guys all did enjoy the video. Thank you guys all so much for the support on the last sniper video, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot on this one as well. If you guys did enjoy, I'd appreciate if you hit that like button. But with all that being said, they'll do it here for myself, and I will catch you all in the next one.